Good morning. We're outside of a house. Today we're going to demonstrate how to do a winter service for Fox Pest Control. Here in this area, we've reached temperatures that are below freezing at many parts of the day. And so in order to be able to be render an effective service, we need to make sure that we know how to use our dusting application because that's primarily what we're going to be using on these services. So some, some basic equipment that we're going to be using are a duster, you can use either a bulb duster or a bellows duster. Just depends on your preference. There are some things that are advantageous to the bulb duster. One of those being is it has this 12 inch extension to where you can reach uh, further away areas to be able to dust and it's a little bit easier to use. Or if you prefer, you can use this hand, hand bellows duster, which has a rubberized tip. So that way if you are if you are dusting around electrical outlets and other things, you don't have to worry about being shocked or causing any sort of sparks. One thing to keep in mind when utilizing either the, the bellows duster or the bulb duster is to make sure that they're filled no more than halfway full because you'll need a, you need a good mix of air with the dust to make sure that it shoots where it needs to go. The product that we're going to be using today is Delta Dust. One of the reasons why we use Delta Dust in the wintertime is because it's waterproof. So as you're dusting cracks and crevices, if a little bit of water happens to get inside those areas, the dust is still going to be remain and it's going to be effective. The great thing about dust is it's going to last anywhere from six to eight months. I've actually seen it be effective even over a year. So whereas a liquid product has a tendency to last only two to three months, this is going to last six to eight months on a regular basis. So that's what we do. The other basic equipment that you'll need in order to do an exterior service in the winter time is an inspection mirror. This allows you to look underneath the seal and see if there's things that need to be taken care of or sealed to where you can dust in those cracks and crevices. And also, just like on every other service, we're still going to be using our web pole to get down spider webs and to put the dust up in the eave areas. So when you come to a home, we're outside the front entryway. You're going to see areas that can be that can be dusted and that can be treated. So in particular, light fixtures, behind light fixtures, other cracks and crevices around the entryway, down underneath the kick plate, and these other areas, those can all be areas of dust. So I'm gonna take this duster, and I'm gonna put a dust in all of these little gaps and cracks that I can find that will allow that dust to penetrate down to those areas. It's a good practice to do it about every 12 to 18 inches. This particular house has siding and it's not sealed very well and so there's lots of different areas where bugs can get in and they can overwinter. So you want to get those areas all taken care of. Again, about every 12 to 18 inches so it should suffice. Now some of these pests that we're looking to get taken care of are anything that's going to overwinter inside the home. So things like ladybugs, stink bugs, carpenter ants, spiders, all these types of insects once they get inside the home they're going to be able to thrive because the temperatures inside the home are going to stay fairly consistent whereas on the outside they're going to be up and down whether it's a warm day in the 50s or a cold day in the 30s. So that's what we're trying to prevent. All these little areas need to be taken care of and dusted to make sure that the dust is distributed evenly. <laughs> there are many areas of concern when treating the outside of the home in a winter service. A lot of different areas where pests can come inside. Here we have the garage door. Most of the time there's going to be gaps underneath that lead into the garage area. These areas need to be dusted. You can see this could be, could be repaired here. <clears throat> That's all areas that could harbor bugs, so those areas need to be taken care of. Again, dust every 12 to 18 inches around the home ensuring that the product gets inside all these gaps and crevices.
most homes have these HVAC units where there is piping that goes directly into the home and into uh, the sidewall. You want to get any gap that you can see around there and dust directly into it. Also, these types of things harbor a lot of bugs inside, so you can dust inside these units to making sure that they're taken care of and the dust gets in areas where it needs to be. Anywhere the siding comes together and is, and is uh, put together by a protector here, you want to dust in those areas as well. It's going to be areas where insects can hide. Again, when you're doing these services, you want to think like a bug. Think like an insect or think like a spider. And that's going to allow you to see and realize where you need to be and where you need to put dust. Just like us, in the wintertime, insects and other rodents, they want to be warm. And so they're going to be trying to sense areas of different temperature. So if they can feel a gap where there's air coming out, warm air, they're going to try to go into it. So think about that when you dust all these areas. Let's talk about the inspection mirror here for a minute. We're gonna utilize this to see find gaps underneath the seal. All along the seal, you'll see thin gaps that can be penetrated with the dust that insects can use to be able to get inside the home. If those gaps are big enough, that's where mice and rats are gonna find their way into the home. So it's easy just to go ahead and place the tip of the duster underneath these areas and make sure you're getting dust to protect that area of the customer's home. A big thing to keep in mind when doing these exterior services and communicating with your customer is you see the leaf debris that's left for probably from several years uh, as it's built up. This leaf debris is gonna cause, or is gonna be shelter for both mice, rats, other insects and things. So it's a very important for the customer to rake and sweep these areas out. So that way it prevents from rodents and things from being able to nest. So again, utilizing the inspection mirror, you can see what's up underneath here. And any gaps that might be big enough that might need to be sealed with our excluder material or foam. When treating around windows, you want to keep in mind that all these gaps are potential areas where insects can come into the home or can find shelter. You want to dust all these gaps around the window. If the window has a screen like this, you can even put a little bit of dust along the track and that will help provide a protective layer so that way if things are actually coming in through the screen you can get that taken care of. Other areas to be cognizant of are going to be spigots, water spigots and dryer vents. So these areas too should be dusted and, and treated. This area of the home provides a great deal of areas where insects and, and rodents can hide and nest. Anything be, be behind the HVAC unit where they can find a little bit of shelter from the cold or even from the, the, the winter weather and it being wet, you want to check underneath there, especially if there's decks connected to the house. You want to make sure that you're checking underneath to make sure that there's nothing that's going to be able to harbor insects and rodents. If there's clutter underneath the desk or underneath the deck, you want to be able to make sure that the customer understands to remove that out from there to lessen the ability for rodents and insects to find shelter. So this is where the electricity comes into the home. You're going to see that it comes into the home here. So you want to dust in areas like this. Also, keep in mind that the power coming from the electric poles here it's going to connect to the home up there to be mindful of that. That acts as a conduit, a conduit for insects and other things to enter the home and to get underneath that siding. 
Here we see on this window, this uh, section of the, the, the framing is starting to bow. This would be another recommendation that you could give to the customer in order to help replace, because what's going to happen is as it rains and snows, there's potential for as the water seeps down into here to be able to, to get moisture down into the walls, and that's going to be uh, far more uh, adaptive and conducive to things like termites and carpenter ants and other insects that are looking for a higher humidity. So again, suggest that customers repair and replace anything that needs to be taken care of. As with all other services that we do at Fox Pest Control, we're going to utilize our web duster to be able to knock down any other spider webs or wasp nests that might have been remaining from the previous service and also swab dust up into the eave area. So again, a light coating of dust is all that's needed to be effective. swab right around the entryways up into the eaves the face of the windows the sides of the windows up and down trying to get as much dust on those bristles inside the cracks and crevices as you can also using this duster as a swab in those areas that we pointed out where the electricity comes into the home, especially where the wires connect up top to the homes, a good, a good uh, service would be to dust around those areas to help prevent insects and other things gaining entrance into the home at that point. We're now inside of the home, inside of the kitchen. I'm going to show you some things that you can do with the dust uh, that we might not normally do uh, during, the, uh, during the regular services. Here underneath the sink, you know, we always dust underneath the plumbing. So you can see this is quite a mess underneath. We want to clear some of that out so we can dust right around where the plumbing comes in to the wall and into the floor. So we want to put a dust inside any gaps and cracks that there might be. And this sink has a huge leak. So this is a serious issue for customers because of the way that this moisture will develop and it will eventually lead to a lot of decay and rot underneath here. And again, it makes it conditions very conducive to uh, ant, carpenter ants and termites. So definitely you wanna let the customer know if you come across any leaks uh, like this in the, underneath the sink. So utilizing your inspection mirror, you can also see if there's gaps underneath the baseboard or underneath the, the cupboards and cabinets to see if you need to put any dust or anything underneath there. Other portions of the interior that you want to be mindful of and potentially dust is behind these outlet covers. So we've already removed most of the screws from this, from this switch plate. You'd be surprised what you find in a lot of these uh, switch plates and these, these covers here. I've seen anything from a dead mouse to crickets to centipedes to different types of ants, but in each, each area where you want to actually put the dust, and again we're using this duster because it has the rubberized tip, is you can put a little bit of dust right inside the receptacle, or what's probably even better is inside these gaps. If you find that there is not much of a gap between here you can always take your screwdriver and in an inconspicuous place where it's not going to show pop a little hole in the drywall and then utilize your duster to dust inside that hole Turn it sideways. other areas to dust when in the kitchen is under major appliances so especially underneath the oven or the stove or 
on the sides or underneath the dishwasher. The one appliance that I would avoid dusting underneath would be the refrigerator. When the refrigerator kicks on in its cycle, there's a fan a lot of times that will blow. And if we put dust underneath that, it's possible for that fan from that refrigerator, when it cranks on, to blow that dust out and put it in areas that you didn't intend. Moving towards the bathroom, right around the toilet where the water comes in, there's a lot of time there's going to be a gap. So you can put your duster right there in that gap and dust. Also, if there's not a very good seal around the bottom of the toilet, dusting underneath that seal will also be effective. If there are gaps underneath the cabinetry, putting dust underneath there, and again, as with normal things, normal services, we can also dust where the plumbing voids come into the come into the home. Okay, here we are by a window. Another great option to be able to dust. You can actually put a little bit of dust right down in the window tracks. Making sure that it comes all the way down and fills that up and we'll place that light. If there's any gaps or any spaces underneath the window trim, you know, you can always place dust in there. From your vantage point, you may not be able to see, but a lot of areas are going to have these little gaps underneath the baseboard and the floor. Putting a little bit of dust in those areas can also be very effective. Just like in the other room where we dust underneath the baseboard with, uh, with the uh, hardwood floor, you're also going to come across areas of the home where the carpet may not be up tight against the wall. And in that case, you can actually dust underneath the baseboard from the carpeted area. Sticking your tip of your duster in that gap, squeezing, and that dust will blow all the way underneath there. And again, doing that every 12 to 18 inches for so long as there's a gap. Uh, if you need to, you can even pull up a little bit of the carpet, just an edge right there, stick it underneath, and blow, and just tap it back down. Inside a garage, there's also many different areas where you can dust and be effective. So particularly where the man door goes into the home, again, underneath the kick plate of the sill plate, putting dust underneath there in those areas. Also where the drywall and the foundation comes together, you can put dust in there. And many times the wood framing along the edge of the garage door, you can actually put dust in there as well. You may not be able to see it, but there's actually some spiders here in this corner, even a light, a light dusting in the corners will be beneficial as well. Here we are in a storage area or an unfinished portion of the basement. Up here, you can see where light is coming in to the home. Those are areas where insects and things can come in. Now, luckily it's not big enough for a rodent to come in yet, but you can also dust that way in those areas and this would also be a good area to use some of that foam sealant or even some of that excluder by stuffing it in there. Other parts to be uh, to recognize is underneath the water heater you can actually dust a little bit of dust right underneath the water heater for things that are trying to nest up in there. Also up here there's a glue board but up here along the seal plate underneath the seal plate and where other wires and things come in. Dust is a very effective product to use both on inside and outside. And one of the great things about it is it helps us rotate our product. So that way insects have a harder time to develop uh, resistance to those products that we use. All right, through this video, we've shown lots of different options and areas where you can dust and have the service be extremely effective. From different parts of the exterior of the home to different parts of the interior of the home, Dusting is a great way to make sure that bugs and insects aren't able to nest inside the home. So if you had a question about what to do for the winter service, hopefully this video answers that. If not, be sure and ask questions at the end and we can discuss.